Hello, and welcome to First Lutheran Church, Fergus Falls, Minnesota, along with Augustana Lutheran. We are joining efforts together to bring to you a blessed Lenten journey 2021. We have Vicar Lynn here today, along with Ty and his guitar, and he's going to do a sing-along and some instrumental for us, in addition to hearing some reflections between the vicar and myself regarding this most sacred season of Lent. May God bless you as you worship, as you join together as the body of Christ through the live stream this day. Ty, take it away. I see trees of green, red roses too, I see them bloom for me and you, and I think to myself, a wonderful world. And I see skies of blue and clouds of white. This bright blessed day on this dark sacred night. And I think to myself, Thank you, Ty, for sharing uh, the blessed sound of music and your talent with all of our listeners this day. Vicar Lynn and I are going to uh, share with you a little bit about the imposition of ashes and why in the world we use ashes on Ash Wednesday in Lent. And I'm just going to invite Vicar Lynn to share with us what her experience of the ashes. Oh. You know, I, I've always wondered, why do we use ashes? I mean, you know, if you have a wood stove, you'd like throw those out, right? Right. So I did a little research, and here's what I found. In the books of Job, Jonah, Jeremiah, and Matthew, ashes are used to signify mourning and sorrow. But why do we want to be mournful and sorrow on, on a day such as Ash Wednesday, the beginning of Lent? Well, because Lent starts, and Lent is all about looking at ourselves and understanding that our relationship with God is broken. Ah! And, and we need to mourn that brokenness, and we need to go, oh, hmm, if it's broken, how can we repair it? We may not be able to fully fix it, because we're sins. I mean, we're humans and we sin. Thank you, Adam. But, um, you know, we feel our regret and we promise to God to do better. So, I wonder uh, why it is then Ash Wednesday is my favorite day of the church season. And I guess it would be because 
I appreciate the opportunity to be right-sized, to take a look at our lives, my life, and to accept the brokenness, to ask for forgiveness for the imperfection, to be free through receiving the body and blood of Christ, and the sign of a cross on my forehead as a reminder that, like, I might just make it through this thing, okay, because of God's forgiveness. And you know, this is an interesting thing I found in the research. Before soap, and there was a time in our history and evolution of mankind, there was no soap. And so ashes were used to clean things. So ashes also have this like wonderful connotation of cleansing us and making us new. So the deal is we're going to have a drive-by uh, distribution of ashes and Holy Communion on Ash Wednesday at 12 noon and again at 5 p.m. And you can come by and simply pick up these little packets along with the Holy Communion and receive forgiveness and cleansing through the ashes. Wow, all in one fell swoop. Okay, but so now I've got these little baggies, right? One for each person in your family. What do I do then, Pastor Gretchen? Can you, can you help me understand what I'm gonna do with this baggie once I get home? Mm -hmm. once, what do you wanna do with this baggie is it's already moistened. So you simply open up the baggie after a time of maybe just some reflection or just a few moments of quiet to center yourself. Yes, exactly. Just okay. like Pastor okay. Lynn is doing. Or you could listen to Ty play the guitar again and uh, just focus for a little bit on something other than what is out there. But come inside. And, uh, and be at peace with who you are and whose you are. And simply dip your finger, doesn't matter which finger it is, into the ashes. Okay, I'm doing that. It's not that easy, guys, so take your time. Take your time and get it out there and <laughs> know that it could get a little messy, but that's okay because remember, it's cleansing that we're doing. And then once you have it on your finger, you can make the sign of the cross however you wish on your forehead. I can do that now? You can do that now. There you go. There you go. And then what we would like for you to do is after you make the sign of the cross on your forehead is to text or email a picture of yourself with your cross on your forehead to the church office or to Vicar Lynn or myself so that we can share all the pictures of all of us with our crosses on our foreheads because we won't get to see everybody with their That's foreheads. True. It's all about a community. It's all about us doing this together in the pandemic. All right, with those thoughts, let's, let's uh, consider a moment of silence as we listen to Ty play again some music which will help us center our heart of hearts into being God's people humbly at the base of the cross as you can see behind us we've got a cross behind us and we're in the sanctuary remembering always that god is with us no matter where we are and as we journey through this lenten season this 40 days excluding sundays that it is a time to simply deepen our relationship with god a moment at a time a day at a time for the good of all take it away ty I heard that there was a secret chord David played and it pleased the Lord All I want is to play that music for you It goes like this, the fourth, the fifth, the minor fall in the major left and all God above, but that 
that is all I've ever known of love To see a son there broken be before me So while we're here, let's sing this song I want you all to sing along Let's raise a cry, let's raise a hallelujah So thank you, Ty. You are a great musician. Okay, we do plan on getting together in Lent for the Lenten services Wednesday evenings in person, limit to 50, all the COVID stuff is in place. Please come and enjoy, especially you come for Vance. I'll be taking attendance. Well, not really, but you get the idea. Um, so come, we're doing the Holden evening service, which is one of my favorites. So I will be, I know I'll be here enjoying it. Let's see, hmm. oh, the theme. The theme this year for our Lenten um, journey is gonna be living out our baptismal promises. So we'll be looking at how we affirm our baptism and how we live it out every day. So the five weeks, here are the topics that we're gonna talk about. First, to live among God's faithful people. How do we do that? Second, to hear God's word and to share in the Lord's Supper. Third week, to proclaim the good news of God and in Christ through word and deed. So what do we do, what do we say to proclaim Jesus? To serve all people following the examples of Jesus. And finally, the fifth, Wednesday, we'll talk about to strive for justice and peace in all the earth. That is a big one. Wow. All right. What I want to do now is thank you for tuning in. You are greatly appreciated. I certainly enjoyed a tie and, and Pastor Gretchen with their messages. And I'm going to close us in prayer. Ty, would you play an instrumental behind the <gasps> prayer? Yeah, we want more Ty, don't we? Yeah, I think so. Perfect. Yeah. All right. Merciful God, accompany our journey through these 40 days. Renew us in the gift of baptism that we may provide for those who are poor. Pray for those who are in need. Fast from self-indulgence and above all, that we may find our treasure in the life of your Son, Jesus Christ, our Savior and Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Have a wonderful Ash Wednesday. Blessings to you. Amen.